Have you ever received the perfect image from Midjourney, but with a few very minor and annoying imperfections? The Midjourney community feed is full of such images. If that sounds familiar, then this video is for you. I'll be showing you how to fix the details that are off in just a couple of minutes and for free using DALI. I rarely pay attention to other AI and only use Midjourney as I love its simplicity and beautiful aesthetic, which many other AI lack. But recently I have realized that there is some third-party AI which can really enhance the quality of your Midjourney images and elevate them to the next level. DALI's Out Painting tool is one such example, which is what we'll be using here today. I'll demonstrate by editing two Midjourney originals. First, we'll be editing the Midjourney generated portrait you see on the left. As you can see, it's almost perfect, but Midjourney really messed up the eyes and added these black spots on the cheek and forehead. I'll show you how to upload these original Midjourney images to DALI and correct the eyes and spots, producing you with these beautiful polished portraits in the middle and on the right of your screen. In the second example, I'll be fixing the stunning Japanese landscape. Again, it's almost perfect, but there are a few things which I want to fix. I want to remove the bike depicted on the left because it only resembles a bike and upon further inspection you can see that it's really missing the details of what a bike really is. The same thing goes for the people in the middle of your screen. Finally, I'll be fixing the clouds circled on the right, where we seem to have some wooden planks in the sky which I'll be removing. So let's get started. This is the DALI homepage, link is in the description. Once here, simply click on sign up in the top right. Enter the email address you want to proceed with, in my case I'll be using Google. Select your email if you're using Google too, if not just follow whatever steps are presented. Add your name, add your number and verify it and once done you'll be in DALI's homepage. Once you're logged into your DALI account, you want to click on your profile in the top right corner. This will display how many credits you have. For me, it shows 110 because I did purchase some extra credits. But if your account is new, you will have 50 free credits. For the purpose of editing your mid-journey images, this is actually quite a generous allowance because one credit is equal to one text prompt or one image edit you'll further receive 15 free credits every month. Despite this generous allowance, I would recommend you edit only your best images where only slight touch-ups are required and Midjourney has nailed the majority of your image. Having explained that, let's click on Open Editor, which will open the Outpainting tool that we'll be using for editing. This Outpainting tool can be used for two purposes. One is to edit your images, which we'll cover in this video, and two is to extend or outpaint your images, which I'll cover in the next video. Once in the editor, you're presented with this generation frame. This is essentially DALI's canvas and it will generate images or pixels only within this box. Notice its aspect ratio is 1024 by 1024. This is quite important because when we import our images, if they have a smaller aspect ratio, we'll need to enlarge them so that the smallest side of the image we import is larger than 1024. Otherwise, DAL-E will paint outside of our image, which we don't want to do here given we're only editing. So let's upload an image and demonstrate. At the bottom, we have our main menu. To upload an image, let's click on the last icon with the image and plus sign and then go ahead to select the image you want to edit. Once uploaded, you'll see the aspect ratio of your image and as you can see the smaller side of this image's aspect ratio is 1664, which is larger than 1024, so we don't need to do anything. And I'll just click place here this tick icon. DALI now overlays the generation frame over our image and you can see that it fits fully inside, so we can control our edits to only happen inside of our image. If our image has a smaller aspect ratio, you'll see that DALI generation frame falls outside of our image and as such it would expand it by painting outside of it. Again, I'll cover this in my next video. Going back to our correct aspect ratio image, I want to remove these black dots. 
So I'll select the eraser from the main menu below. You can control the size of the eraser using the slider on the right side, where scrolling up gives you a larger eraser, and scrolling down gives you a smaller eraser. I'll use the smaller eraser and go ahead and erase all the black dots from the face. I'm trying to take off as little as possible from the image itself to minimize the amount of editing DALI has to do and thus minimizing the room for error. Once selected, you need to place your generation frame on top of the erased areas, again making sure that it stays within the confines of your image. Once you see the checkered pattern over all of your erased areas, you can go ahead and type your prompt out at the top. I'll keep it simple by typing only face, because DALI will be able to identify the style of our image as well as the face and reconstruct it quite easily. Click generate and you'll see that DALI is working by the blue bar that appears at the bottom of our generation frame. Once completed, our erased areas are now corrected and we are presented with four different variations, similar to what Midjourney does. Simply click on the arrows, pick the version that works best for your image and click accept. If none of the variations worked well, click cancel, generate the prompt again, but do keep in mind that this will take a second credit away from you. Fixing the eyes now, I'm going to take our eraser tool and remove only the eyes and try to take as little of the surroundings as possible. This time I'm going to be running a more detailed prompt, which is going to be beautiful female symmetric eyes. Generating that is going to give us our first set of eyes and you can already see that these are much better than what we had before. I didn't necessarily like any of these just yet, so I decided to cancel and go for a second generation, which obviously takes away a second credit. Again, we received four more variations of the eyes, and I wasn't necessarily convinced that I like any of those. As you can see, I'm zooming out to try to get the full perspective of the image and see if any of these eyes fit perfectly, but I wasn't necessarily convinced that these were the right eyes, so I generated a third set. Now, I really like this set of eyes, so I decided to stick with it. As you can see, I zoomed out again. The image looks quite good. I accepted the changes, and you can download your image just by clicking on the download button there in the top right. Having fixed the face and eyes, I'm going to move to our next example, which is this beautiful Japanese landscape. I'll begin by removing or erasing the bike on the left, and once that is completed, I'll move the generation frame on top of the erased area, making sure that it fits within the image and does not sit outside because I'm not trying to extend or change my aspect ratio. I'll be running Japanese province town street as a prompt, and that provides us with four generations, two of which are actually quite good, and I'm satisfied with this one, so I'll stick with it and click accept. Moving on, I'm going to move our generation frame to the next area which I want to correct and I'll erase the cloud uh, or this wooden planks that you see in the clouds. I'll erase the people as well as their shadow which is cast on the floor. I also decided to remove some of these houses in the background because I didn't like the level of detail to them. So I decided to erase everything and see what DALI can produce as a substitute to that part of the composition. The generations I received were actually pretty good and fit very well within the style of my image. Notice how with one prompt I actually fixed three different things within my image. So test and see what works for your image because you're, you might be able to save some credits. I really like this green background so I decided to stick with it and went ahead and downloaded my image. These are our end results for both examples and DALI really did a great job to fit the touch-ups within the aesthetic that Midjourney had started. The only thing that I still don't like is the watermarks in the bottom right corner and I'll show you how you can remove them with a free software called Canva or alternatively with any editing software that you are comfortable with. I have my DALI image opened in Canva and I'm going to overlay the original image on top of our DALI image so it fits perfectly. And I'm just going to resize it so the bottom half of our image is covered by the original and hides the watermark. At that point, you can just go ahead, download it, and you have your perfect final image. If you found this useful, consider liking and subscribing. Next video will be focused on extending or outpainting your mid-journey images with DALI. 
which not only adds more ideas to them, but also increases their aspect ratio indirectly, allowing you to produce higher aspect ratio images suitable for prints, posters, wallpapers, etc. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.